If it worked without a dock, I'm pretty sure I would be a pretty amazed person. Hey, welcome back, Spatial Cadets. Today, we have a very special video for you because we are going to be taking a look at something that I've been pretty excited about for a really long time now, and it is not these. Although you absolutely need these to take advantage of this guy right here. And I am so freaking excited that we're one of the first channels to be able to actually review the X-Real Beam. So the packaging is really nice, just to start with. I'm getting a lot of iPod vibes from this thing. So my first impression, it's really interesting actually. Color-wise, it's just this really, just kind of simple gray, which honestly, I would say that's kind of reminiscent of Apple Watch Ultra and how it's got the orange button. There's definitely a lot of design cues from Apple here. I mean, look, you have a literal quick wheel here. And then these are USB-C volume rockers and there's this thing right here i have no idea what this is what it does is this like a speaker what better way to find out than do some reading all right reading's fun so we got a warranty card first rule of the warranty card is that when you're out of warranty that's it this warranty expires i love it disclaimer and safety warnings the user guide yeah we're gonna learn how to use the x-real beam tonight all right so according to the user guide this is the power button right here, right up here. So we're gonna, there it is. Okay, getting this little, uh oh, here we go. Ah, it's doing something that's coming to life. So this is your mode button. This is your back button. This is your click pad, because they can't call it a click wheel, obviously. Hit the middle, this is your okay button. So basically what it's saying here is plug and go. So if I take the X-Real beam, take the glasses. All right, so we've plugged them in. Oh. Updating your extra glasses. I mean, there's no eye tracking or anything like that. I can never get over how freaking sharp this all looks in front of me right now. I just want to go like this. So I have no idea what the battery life in this thing is right now. I don't know how they shipped to me or anything. So all I'm going to do is while it's updating at 75, 76% now, nice. Plug this bad boy in. Nice. Okay. So when you plug it in, it does this sweet thing here. Look at, that. Look at that. I just, I love effects like that. I just do. I'm a friggin' junkie for this kind of stuff. So, see, according to this, you can actually just plug it straight into the switch, basically without a dock. If you can play switch without a dock with this thing, buy this immediately. Where the hell is my switch at? I gotta find my switch. As soon as I find my switch, I'm gonna test that. So it looks like this thing doesn't just do a wired connection. It can do a wireless connection also. Anything from your iPhone, your Android. That's cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty stoked just seeing the X-Real name, the X-Real logo there. It doesn't say Unreal anymore when I put them on, even though it says Unreal on the side. Okay, that was cool. It went like a beam. So I hit this and it's on smooth follow. It's not how it normally is where it's just literally just follows you everywhere. I move my head and it just kind of really gracefully just follows over. I kind of dig that. I hit it again. Body anchor. Okay, so this is where the screen is stationary. So where I left it, I can probably, yeah, I can just kind of walk around it if I wanted to. That's kind of cool. We'll keep it on smooth follow for right now. I kind of like it. It says if I press the directional buttons, which are these guys here on the click pad, I can adjust the screen size and position. Okay. And if you're in body anchor mode, if you hold this guy, it'll recenter your screen. So if I want to look over here and I hold it and I do a long press and the recenter, just like so. Connect the power supply to the USB-C input and use beam while charging. At the very top, it says that it's at a 45% battery. It tells me what time it is underneath, which is 10.33 PM. Uh, it's totally doing a smooth follow. I think I want to body anchor. Ah, oh, it's so freaking cool. So it's over there. I look back and there it is. Oh, I love this. I can see that being useful. Be like, okay, maybe like if you're making dinner or something like that, you can just be like, bubba -da -bubba -da -bubba -da 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 me, I'm making food. Ha ha ha. But it's like, okay, you can't see anything with this in your face, right? So you look over here, you hit this guy at your body anchor, you look away. It's not there anymore. Oh, I want to go back to that recipe. Boom. There it is. I freaking love it. Okay, so there's not a lot of apps. In fact, when I say there's not a lot of apps on this thing, there's a user guide and there's a screen mirroring guide. And then underneath it, it says more apps coming soon. If they can put apps on this thing, this could be something cool. Like put freaking Netflix on here. So to be fair, I can absolutely see my iPad on my screen right now, which is awesome. And it is done wirelessly, other than the fact that I'm plugged in to this right now. This is literally no different than what Apple's gonna have us doing next year with Apple Vision Pro. Take this, throw it in your pocket, call it a day. You can't hear anything, but this is my handy dandy volume. So here's the thing, I can totally 
adjust my volume, I can't hit any of the buttons on the screen. And that is annoying because if I want to use anything, I literally have to pull that device out and use it. So what this is actually good for, as far as I can tell, is if you want to be able to walk down the street and watch a movie, you can do that. It's kind of crazy. So to adjust the size of your display, hit the mode button. Right now I've got my iPad connected over AirPlay and it's only giving me one option, which is smooth follow. So I click this. And then I use the click wheel to adjust the screen size. Now it tells me that if I do a short press up or down, it'll switch levels. So if I do a press up, it takes me to 120. Another one takes me to 320. So 320, 120, 32. Okay, so those are the three choices. I mean, I like it a lot, but all you really get to do is watch things with this. That means that the X-Real Beam is fantastic for consuming content on your devices. But let's see what it does with a switch. But if I remember correctly, this guy here is kind of chunky for a reason because it's got a huge battery pack. You've got a power bank that you can walk around with. So this thing is going to power your phone. This thing is going to power, I'm hoping, my switch. Uh, I guess I could clean my switch while it's trying to get some charge to it. You know what? I got a way better idea. My wife has a switch and she plays hers docked all the time. Plays Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, loves it. I've yet to even have it more than a couple hours with it. This is filthy. Like, wow, holy shit. The good news is, is that we're gonna be able to see relatively quick. So this guy right here, if it worked without a dock, I'm pretty sure I would be a pretty amazed person. Holy sh! holy sh! Oh, holy sh! The smooth follow. Oh my God, okay, whoa. This is freakishly clear. Without a dock, without a dock. A dock costs like, what, 90 bucks, if I remember correctly? I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've looked at a Switch dock. I can make the screen really freakishly small and far away. We're gonna play this at a 320 inch screen. Uh, so the problem with the 320 inch screen is you have a very specific field of view. And since you have the smooth follow, it's not anchored like it used to be. Like if you were to play this straight up with just the dock, this would be anchored, okay? You would not be able to move this at all move and it would just follow okay that's pretty much what it does the problem is though is that the fov is so narrow that if i'm playing a game and i move like this i can very well cut off a decent part of the screen and i might miss like an enemy coming off in the distance or something like that like i could probably get killed like i could probably get killed in zelda if i use these so that's an interesting thought but that's also if i have them all the way set to 320. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, okay. See, I read it as use the click wheel to choose what it was because it gives you these three options and it makes you look feel like you have to do it with the click wheel, but no, you hit it and then you hit it again. So now we got the smooth follow. We've got our side view. Now side view takes the screen and just puts it over there off literally to the side. I mean, that's what its name is, right? Ah, all right. So it gives me four quadrants and I can move it around. So now if I put it to the side view, I could be over here. Let's say if I want to write something down and I can have that totally just off to the side and completely out of my way. Or if I wanted to watch a movie and I find myself in the midst of an incredibly boring conversation, I could be having said conversation while I'm watching my movie in the corner and the person in front of me is none the wiser. Unless of course they know what these guys are, in which case, they might know. Thankfully, not a lot of people do. Yet, 2023 is not the year for spatial computing. 2024, 1000% is. X-Rail is just getting the jump. With Body Anchor, I can have 120 inch screen and I can basically just kind of have this screen here. So if I turn away, it's not there anymore, which is pretty sweet. I have the screen straight ahead right now. If I turn over here, there's nothing in front of me. It does not follow me like Smooth Follow does. But if I turn around, I hit this button here and I hold it. That's where a wonderful mode button comes into play. Because if I turn my at here and I hold this button, bam, now it's in front of me. And now there's nothing in front of me. This is really great and it's also really easy to use. And another really cool thing to keep in mind, actually let me go ahead and put this in side view so I have this out of my way and I can at least look at the camera. This is so much better, I like this, okay, sweet. That's great, I got the camera there. Oh, this could, I could totally use this as a teleprompter, seriously. It's off there in the corner, I can look straight ahead. Of course, then again, I have to wear these things and I don't really want to do that because ah, it's a little dark when you've got them on. So is the X-Real Beam 
worth it. Honestly, it depends on what you want from it because if you're thinking that this coupled with this is going to become an Apple Vision Pro, I've got bad news for you. It's not going to become an Apple Vision Pro. What it will do, however, is pretty extraordinary. As you can see right now, I've got my Switch plugged into it. It is literally charging the Switch right now while simultaneously being a screen of up to 320 inches. You can move it out of your way if you need to, so you no longer have to worry about having it anchored to your face no matter where you look. That was always something really kind of cheap about the X-Real Air, and now that has been mitigated with this right here, this $119 marvel it will charge your phone it'll charge your switch it makes these things right here completely obsolete honestly i'm not even sure why xrail sent me these things because i don't see a need for them whatsoever with the meme if you have wireless input go ahead and use it if you don't you can use this guy right here and it works as well because it's a beautiful thunderbolt cable 119 dollars this is not a bad deal at all. What are you getting for $119? You're getting something that is compatible with pretty much every single mobile phone, PC, gaming console, an adjustable virtual display size up to 330 inches anywhere you go. If it gets in your way, you take it and you push it out of your way and you go about your day. They're saying this is an additional TV at home, yet it's completely portable. Three spatial display modes for different use cases. Body anchor, smooth follow, three and a half hours of battery time on this guy. Seven day standby time, two USB-C ports supporting both charging and playing at the same time. And it is incredibly easy to use. It's very compact, fits right in your pocket. I guarantee you it works with Steam Deck also. So it all really comes down to one question, and that is, do I recommend this guy here? Not only do I recommend this, let me tell you something. I can see myself using this all the time. Every time I leave the house, sometimes when I'm even going to bed, I can see myself using this with my X-Real Air glasses to watch a movie or play a game. I can just see myself doing it. So not only do I recommend you guys get one of these as soon as you possibly can, but I'm putting my own money where my mouth is. So in addition to the Quest Pro giveaway, this video now has its own giveaway and it's for your very own X-Real Beam. Now for this one, all we need to do is get to a thousand likes. And all you need to do to enter is answer this very, very very simple question, and that is, how much does the X-Real Beam cost? So enter your answer into the comments. I will verify it with a green heart. That'll be your entry into the contest. And once we hit a thousand likes for this video, we're gonna do a drawing and we're giving one away. So let's go ahead and start the trend now and hit that like button so we can get to that thousand and join the ranks of the Spatial Cadets and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my socials at WaffyonYT and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, make it a happy scrappy day.